Okay, trust. So look, I think of trust like this, this kind of piggyback idea, right? Trust gets built over time, right? You engage in a behavior, you do this, you do that. Um, we're not going to hurt each other, right? We put the nickels and dimes into it. Now, at some point, right, maybe something happens. Like I find out you're talking about me behind my back, and it shatters trust, right? It's like dropping the proverbial piggy bank. It shatters. You can try to put it together again, but it's never quite the same, right? If there's been a loss of trust on either side, you, supervisor, I really suggest somebody moves on. I really mean that because it leads to all other kinds of malfunctional behavior. Um, so a lot of research. Number one personality trait um, of being a successful leader um, was being able to trust people. Why? Because the opposite of trust is distrust, and distrust gets manifested behaviorally by micromanagement. If you have ever had a manager who micromanaged you, who stood over you, it communicates that they don't trust you. They don't believe that you're competent. Eh, anybody had that kind of manager? Yeah, right? I see that. Now, if you had a manager who's ever said, here's the ball, there's the goal, I trust you to get us there, and by the way, if you need support, here I am. It leads to completely different kinds of behavior and levels of engagement, right? So these are the factors, right, in my research that demonstrate, that lead people to say, I feel respected as a human being. And why I care about that is not just because it's a nice, it is nice, it's a good thing, but because it makes a difference to your organization achieving its mission and vision, and that's what really matters. That's why we're here today. So um, 